Hey guys, today I wanted to show you a really good way how to farm a lot of scrap very early in the game. This is probably one of the best farming spot and it's very early. The only better one is at the very end of the game. So this is probably the best one overall. So first of all what I recommend to do is to farm this Cosmo guy just by the first med bay. Get his weapon, it's a very good weapon and farm some level 2 upgrades for everything you've got. I highly recommend the Lynx uh, the Lynx one, the Lynx set because it's very good, it gives you extra speed and speed is money and then upgrade the weapon of choice. I recommend he, the same weapon the, from the Angel uh, 6 one but I was playing around and I'm using a, a hammer on this video so what we going to do in this video is we will be abusing the game mechanics that is hidden to the player uh, the game doesn't they never tell you that it exists and I'm keep multiplying my scrap and getting insane amount and the limit is is 5 million per run uh, so you can pick up 10 millions altogether so I'm getting close to that I've got two and a half I'm just showing you how it works how quickly uh, you can get that and I'm now I'm going to explain you what exactly I'm doing so at this point I already got 5 million and 5 million is the best number so I'm dropping 5 million and on the right hand side you see the lost tech scrap and a timer next to it you start with two and a half minutes and every time you kill somebody you get extra time what the game doesn't tell you is that if you get to five minutes on that timer you get extra scrap more than you drop and if you get to seven and a half minute you will double the scrap you drop which is insane you can abuse this system a lot so that's our plan here to get to seven and a half minutes on the timer and then pick it up what i'm using here i'm using a lot of jump forward attack followed by a combo and i always aim for the head because it gives the best damage, it stuns the best, it's just the easiest and quickest way to kill an enemy. And I almost never go for a finishing blow because it's too slow, unless I'm out of stamina and I, then I think it's quicker than yes, I do it. But normally I don't do it. And also I don't like finishing moves because it uses energy that can be used for healing. I don't use consumable healing at all, I only use the med voltaic one that converts your energy uh, to your health that's the only one i'm using and as you can see this jump forward attack generates tons of energy so you have pretty much unlimited healing and few more enemies we have nearly five minutes on the clock now another thing what the game doesn't tell you is how good the jump forward attack is and especially the slide attack slide attack is probably the best in the game and it generates it pretty much full uh, fill up your uh, energy bar for two healings every slide attack unfortunately the hammers have horrible slide attack so I'm using only jump forward attack and I've got five minutes on my timer I could pick it up now, but I want more. I want to double. Good to see you. So I'm going to reset enemies. And I'm doing careful, the okay. same route again. And hopefully the two runs will be enough to get to seven and a half minutes. And as I said before, I was experiment, going underground, going everywhere, trying to find the quickest way. But this exact setup works best for me and I need only two runs to get to that time and double my scrap. And this is very early in the game. Before the first boss, as you can see, that one was red, that overcharge point. So I, I have low level, proficiency bonus 12. By the way, if you aim blue parts of the body, you apparently, from what I've heard, get more proficiency. I'm not sure if it's true, but I don't recommend to farm level 1 uh, limps anyway, it's pointless because you can level up straight to level 2 everything, 
Even though it costs a little bit more uh, scrap, doesn't matter. Don't farm uh, low level arms. Always go for the blue limbs or for a hat. Just make the game easier for yourself. Don't make it unnecessarily difficult. That's my advice, by the way, that's on the side. So here you go. We've got 10 millions. 10 million, millions, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what it's gonna do. Time. And when the first time I, I've done it, I had to speed up the video because it was taking so, so long, so much time to level up. Look how little you're using. And by the way, uh, if you want more, just don't use it all. Just use uh, 5 millions, keep the other half, uh, die and do the same. And then, uh, you know, multiply again and get another 5. I had to really speed it up. And here you go. High level have some downsides, but I personally, you know, don't care about the downsides. You, the, the downside of having high CP is that you get very little or no refills of consumable health. But as I said before, I'm not using them. I'm only using the Mad Voltaic one. I rarely use a finishing move as well. I don't recommend farming uh, body parts. Always go for blue ones. Save the energy bar for healing. That's my personal advice after finishing game a few times. But what I do like about high level core power is that you have maximum implant slots and uh, the, some implants work better at high uh, core power, like extra health ones. And also what is most important for me is that you can use any set you like. And I really like this An Angel 6 set. It's just workers. beautiful. Just the best looking set in the game for me. So many details. It's probably not the best one in the game, but it's so cool. And it works well with this uh, weapon. And I'm surprised that, you know, some sets are so expensive that players won't be using them. It's just a waste of opportunity for me. I really do like this set. It's just beautiful. And it's a very good weapon as well. It works well in that combination. I've got only five proficiency level. And look how much damage you, uh, I do. And how much energy it generates. So you get unlimited healing using this jump forward and slide attack. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll find it useful. And uh, see you around. Thank you for watching.